back with another one. Got two in a row. Back with another one. Got two in a row. Anyway, I haven't done my nails. We're not going to talk about it. I'm low-key suffering because I haven't done my nails. Let me turn this brightness off so the glare doesn't show so much. I'm like, hold on. Ooh, had to crack my back. Felt good. Anyway, what in the schnitzel is going on here? So I'm back with another video and it is under the title. For those who are new here, we are one in the schnitzel. Well, currently it's me, one in the schnitzel. My host, which is my beautiful mother, is not here today. But, well, the, my co-host is not here today and I'm just by myself. So um, we read from the subreddit, we read from Reddit and from the subreddit, Am I the A-hole? Where we give our responses and our opinions. And also y'all can give y'all opinions and y'all responses in the comments. So <laughs> please enjoy. Am I the A-hole for calling my brother pathetic and less mature than a three-year-old? Honestly, it depends. Like, well, did he do something? Did he say something? Like, what exactly went down to make you just snap like that? Like, you, you all right? Are you okay? Anyway, at my mother's birthday dinner, my brother reached across the table to take an onion fritter off my daughter's plate. He could have asked. I can't stand when people take my food. Like, I, like that's, that's one of my pet peeves. Like, I, I, like, for my mom, I will ask for her food. But if she tells me no, I'm not going to reach over and still grab it. That, that's so disgusting. What, what are you, five? Off my daughter's plate. My daughter processed. She said, hey, give that back. But she wasn't screaming. Her vomit was all above conversational, but not any louder than most people would be in that situation. I asked my brother what is wrong with him. He started laughing. He said, my kids are spoiled and have bad manners. My aunt said, if you took food off my plate, I wouldn't yell about it. With the emphasis on yell, implying she would do something else instead. My brother ate the fritter and my, dad, my daughter said, dad, he ate my paji. And the one it was my, that one was mine. My dad walked, waved down the radar, asked for another order, and told my daughter she would just, that they would just be for her. She was happy. My brother then said, this is why my kids are spoiled. I said, you would, you would never take food off an adult's plate. He only felt confident enough to do so because she is 10. I said, that was pathetic, and my three-year-old three has better table manners than him. Okay, mama, come defend your baby. He said he wasn't the one who was yelling at the table. I'm pretty sure what that little girl did was like, hey, that's mine. Like, that is not even yelling. That's legit. Raising your voice uh, upper octave so the person can know that you're visibly upset about <laughs> and also vocally upset about what is going on. And I'm with auntie. I, I, would, I wouldn't be like, oh, oh, that, hey, give that back. No, I've been like, you got five seconds to put that back on my plate. <laughs> this can be used as a weapon, this is metal. Put my food back on my plate. Like, I'm not even gonna ask, boy, there's gonna be problems. I said, he, he said he wasn't the one yelling at the table and that I should be ashamed of letting my kids order so much on, my dad, on dad's dime. I almost said something. I said no. He was the one stealing food at the table, which is way worse than a startled ex exclamation. Thank you. He said, I was raised my kids to not have social skills or be able to handle disappointment. My mom told everyone to be quiet and not ruin her dinner, so I shut up. After dinner, my brother tried to talk to me, but I just told him to hush and usher my wife and kids to the car. All right. The main reason I think I might be the a-hole is that it all happened during my mom's birthday dinner. And the moment I felt like I had to defend my daughter. And you did, sir. You did what you had to do. But maybe I should have just ordered a replacement dish for her and not address the situation during dinner. Was I the hell? No, indeed. Your brother is an entitled pig that feels like he should, he deserves everything. You defended your kid. Now your kid knows that, oh, if I'm in the right or if something happens, dad has my back. Dad understands what's going on and dad's going to defend me. So if anything, that's going to bring you your kids closer. That's like seriously so immature. That's my, cro that's my uh, cro crochet hook that fell that's seriously so immature i'm not going to reach on a child's plate even when i'm with my younger cousins one second even when i'm with my younger cousins i'm going to ask can i have something off their plate if i see something and it looks good or sometimes what one of my cousins does he would have his plate and he would just like reach 
because he doesn't really like speaking too much. So he'll just reach and just like, if you want, if you want it, you shake your head and then you'll bite it. And then he, he'll smile. And if you don't want it, you'll shake your head. No. And he'll take it back. He'll still be smiling. It's just that it's simple. It's all about consent. Like, why are you, why are you trying to take food from a little child, a child, and then call them spoiled? So you're the spoiled one. You spoiled enough that nobody knocked your head between the washer and dryer. Because what is you doing? You're just going to take food from somebody else's child. And then your own sister had to say, you have to be glad it wasn't my plate. Because if it was mine, it would have been something else. So like, <laughs> she was like, I'll put them paws on you. That is so crazy. Polly Polly M said, not the a-hole. What the F is, is this about as close to stealing candy from a baby as literally possible? He would never do this to a doll. I would start seating myself between him and my kids to prevent this kind of things um, in the future. They were sad, and oh, OP said, they were sad at candy court to each other. She was between two of her brothers and he was across from my eldest son. He had to reach right over my wife's plate to do so as well, which I also find extremely rude, but that was the less... Uh, the least of his transgressions. I agree. That's so disgusting. And now, as a wife, I'd have been like, uh, move. I would have said, move. Like, with the, I was like, what is you doing? I can't stand when people reach on my plate. Don't do that. That's rude. Maybe it's because I'm from down south, but we don't do that. Don't reach over. If you are going to reach over someone's plate, you will ask them, hey, matter of fact, can you, like, give me that? And if they're like, oh, I can't do it right now, I'm like, can I quickly reach around you real quick? Or we'll go back ways and get it instead of going directly over that person's plate unless absolutely necessary. That is so ridiculous. Stress pet sitter said, and not the a-hole, it is pathetic to uh, stress pet, P-A, P-E sitter? P sitter? Not the a-hole is pathetic to steal food from your nieces and nephews instead of being an adult asking, hey, niece, can I have one? I'm just a golden child regarding your dynamic there from your aunt's and mom's reaction. No, my aunt, was on, my aunt wasn't on his side. She said if you took food out of my place, I would have yelled about it, implying she would do, I wouldn't yell about it, implying she would do something else. Yeah. And I'm glad that the kids know how to stand up for themselves, most definitely, because that is utterly ridiculous and disgusting for a grown man to feel like he's okay and then immediately start to grade the kids because you told him no. Your, your brother has not been told no before, I'm pretty sure. And now that it's coming to his adult life, he's having a problem with it, especially when a younger kid tells him no, when he's actually a spoiled one. Your, his niece told him no, or hey, that's mine, implying that she never wanted to share with him. She probably wouldn't have a problem with it if he would have asked. But since he want to act like, oh, it doesn't matter, I'm the adult here, I can take it anyway, she's spoiled, he's entitled. I would have took him outside, and we would have been tussling all around that grass. I'm letting you know this right now. This is exactly what I would have done. I don't advocate for violence. But at the same time, that, that's utterly ridiculous. But thank you for stepping up for your child. Anyway, type in what you feel in the comments. Like, subscribe, put on, turn on post notifications so you can get a notification for every week. I make another video. And that's it for today. Ta-da!